Welcome back you guys. So to start off this bling tutorial, I'm going to prep with the Gerard Hydrating Facial Mist and then for foundation, I'm using the LA Girl Pro HD Full Coverage Foundation. I wanted very dewy skin for this look, so that's why I chose to wear this one today and don't worry, I know this looks way darker than my face, but it does match my neck and the rest of my body. So for concealer, you guys know Tarte Shape Tape, this is my jam. When I have my self tanner on, I'm usually in the shade Light Neutral. I'm also going to do a tiny bit of cream contour with the shade Deep and you'll see right here just how easily and fast this blends out. This isn't sped up or anything, this is why I love these concealers. Now I'm going to take this liquid illuminator from Iconic London and apply this onto the areas I want to highlight. This is in the shade Shine. And later on you'll see that the parts we highlight were not going to set with powder because I want that glow on the skin. So after the highlighter is applied, like I said, I'm not going to set those areas. I'm only setting my T-zone and under my contour. So in order to get that wet metallic look, don't set these areas. So with my big ol' fluffy brush from BH Cosmetics, I'm going to take Dallas from Benefit and I'm going to use this to bronze all over my face. It's a really pretty neutral toned bronzer and I've been trying out these new brushes. So far I'm really really liking them. They're super soft and really good quality. For blush, I've been loving this pink shade from the Zoeva Basic Moment palette. I believe it's launching very very soon. I will leave a link down below for you guys. Now moving on to the eyes, I'm picking up the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette, my new favorite, and taking the shade Sandal Wood. This is going to be my crease shade. I'm not going to do too much of this because this whole look is very soft, so just a light wash of this will do. And then to cut the crease, I'm using a MAC 232 brush. This is really great for this. And with some concealer, I'm going to carefully carve out my crease and then blend out the outer corners with the same brush and the same crease shade. So it's really nice because for this look, you only need one shade. Now for the fun part, I use the NYX White Liquid Liner to create a wing first. And you guys, this is actually how slow I do my eyeliner. So take your time to make sure it's perfect and nice and thick. I also kept in mind how big my crystals were, so I made sure to keep my liner thick enough for that. Now for the lashes, I wanted something really fluffy and fluttery, so I'm putting on the House of Lashes Nor Fairy Light Lashes. And once the lashes are on, we can now move on to the bling part. So I got these crystals at the craft store, and I'm going to apply them using some lash glue. But honestly, this was the most tedious part because they kept sticking to my tweezers and I was losing my patience. But hey, we made it through. Thank the Lord. That took me 40 minutes, but it was definitely worth it. Now for some more highlighter. This is Mary Lou from The Bomb. Such a stunning classic highlighter. I love it. I'm also going to highlight my inner corners, but I'm using that same illuminator that we used in the beginning because I want a very metallic shine for the inner corner. 
Now I'm lining my lips using NYX Lip Liner. This is the shade Natural. And for lipstick, I wanted a very peachy matte color. So I used Gerard Cosmetics Between the Sheets lipstick and set my face. And this look is complete. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I will see you in the next one.